the thousands of physically challenged people who attended the meeting that day were all given a bag of rice and a cash gift. Here we can see the Emmanuel TV team using their strength, love, time and every good thing the Lord has given them as they assist the physically challenged people to carry their bags of rice back home after a truly rewarding day at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Remember, it is more rewarding to give than to receive. Outside the Synagogue Church of All Nations Auditorium were those who were unable to join the rest of the gathering due to the nature of their disability, many of whom had open wounds or swollen body parts which wouldn't allow them to sit comfortably in the church. Notwithstanding, each and every single one of them were given a good meal, cash gifts and a bag of rice. You can just imagine the kind of rejection, loneliness and suffering these people experience on a daily basis. They were in dire need of one who cared and they found him. His name is Jesus Christ. Not left out were the orphans and the fatherless, who also came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in need of love and assistance. The Emmanuel TV team cheerfully and carefully bring the children into the auditorium, ranging from toddlers to teens. Like you. you can see that many of the children have a hampering disability or special needs, some physically, others mentally, spiritually and emotionally, most of which require costly treatment, constant attention and a warm and loving environment to encourage them to grow. Something not easy to come by, but as the Bible teaches us, in a world that cares less, we should care more. Despite the busyness of the day's event, the Emmanuel TV team spent their quality time with the children, playing with them, encouraging them and making new friends, reminding them to look unto Jesus Christ, the Father to the fathers, the defender of the defenseless, the friend closer than a brother. TB Joshua has been taking care of many orphans and orphanages right from the onset of his ministry, many of whom have now graduated from universities, made successful careers and today enjoy the love of their very own families across the world. There were many groups that came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations that day. Let's take a few moments to hear what some of them had to say. 
Emmanuel, we're here at the meeting of the Physically Challenged with Prophet TB Joshua here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria. Today we've been joined by a group of children from the Bethlehem Charity and Orphanage Center. They are here today to ask God to use Prophet TB Joshua to intervene in their affairs. Right now we would like to listen to one of their coordinators as she comes forward to explain who they are and exactly why they are here today at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Madame, if you could please come forward. We'd like to hear from you today. Madame, you're welcome in Jesus' name. Please, can you introduce yourself and your organization to us? We are from Bethlehem Charity and Novani Center. I'm, I'm the coordinator. My name is uh, Evangelist Saiwo Oluoyeye. I'm from Oyo State. We are here today to see the man of God. We need his assistance for the children in the home. We need uh, accommodation. Uh, we need uh, materials for the children, education, peace, and uh, some other things to support the home. We are lacking behind for their education. They need education materials, sc uh, school uniform, uh, books and some other things. Thank you very much, Madame. And I think we would like to listen to a couple of the children now. If maybe one or two of them can come out and speak on behalf of the children. Okay. Can you introduce yourself? Tell us your name and your age. My name is Miri Adeliki. I am 14 years old. Can you tell us what are the challenges that you face in life as an orphan? First of accommodation, the ma uh, malaria treatment. Just heard from Mary, who said that she's an orphan at the Bethlehem Charity and Orphanage Center, and they're asking Prophet T.B. Joshua for help for accommodation, uh, health care, and education. Thank you very much, Mary. Thank you. Please, can you tell us your name and your age? My name is Alan Roger Isaac. I'm 16 years old. And what are the challenges you and the other children are facing as an orphan? We just need the man of God to assist us in terms of accommodation, for him to sponsor us and give us some other things, food stuff. We need bus and some other things from him. We have the belief that he can do it because true God, all things are possible. Amen. Thank you very much. Man, we'd like to ask you how many children are currently living in the orphanage? We have about 56 living in the orphanage now. And what are their ages? It's from uh, 17 down what, to one year. Yeah. Well, as you are here today at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, you are coming today for the first time. And we believe you are coming because you have seen the acts of charity and giving that Prophet T.B. Joshua has been blessing others who are in the same situation, the widows, widowers, orphans, dwarfs, and the physically challenged and the needy. And as you are aware, the man of God has been taking care of thousands of fatherless and orphans around Nigeria and around the world as well. Prophet T.B. Joshua has been sponsoring many fatherless and orphans throughout Nigeria and around the world for years, since the beginning of his early ministry. Many of these orphans and fatherless children have now graduated from university, having received sponsorship from Prophet T.B. Joshua right from primary school through to secondary school and through to a full university scholarship. And they are now employed in companies around Nigeria and the world. And we believe as we look into your case, that the man of God will be able to assist you in these areas of sponsorship and school scholarship as well in Jesus. Amen. 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 So right now we have a gift for you from the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, along with these 30 bags of rice for the orphans. The man of God has also asked us to give you this gift of 60,000 naira to take care of the accommodation needs um, of the children at the Bethlehem Charity and Orphanage Center. We are very grateful and we pray that the God Almighty will continue to strengthen him. I thank him very much. On behalf of the children and the management, you are blessed. Amen. When I'm coming to your presence, I'm so happy. 
I'm so happy when coming to your present. I'm so glad. Glad your present. There is a there is a night breeze moves around me in your present. I'm not so we are here with uh, yet another group that has joined us for today's physically challenged meeting here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations uh, with Prophet TB Joshua. Madam, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Can you just introduce yourself to us? And uh, also, can you explain who the children are that we can see behind you dressed in the red t-shirts? Thank you very much. Good evening, Emmanuel. My name is Esther Unegu. I'm a special teacher of the Dev in Foundation for Hope in Disability, the home you're seeing here behind me. Today is our first time in Synagogue Church of All Nation, and I must say, we're really impressed with what the man of God has been doing towards these children. I really say thank you very much. And the Lord will continue to enrich you and bless you and uphold his ministry. Thank you. So you say that you're coming here for the first time and that the children behind you are part of the Disabled Foundation of which you are a teacher. Can you just explain to us what are some of the disabilities um, that the children that you care for at the orphanage have? Yes, we have the virtual impaired, which is, of course, the blind ones. We have the mental retired, which is the ones that have mental problems. And then we have the limbs among them, the ones that, couldn't, that can't work. We have the deaf and the dumb, which, of course, the ones I deal with, I teach there. And the imbecites, which, of course, we know as the Im mental retired ones. Thank you. And uh, about how many children do you actually have all together in the orphanage? We have over 40 of them, from a day old baby to about 22 years old child. And by the grace of God, we, God has been faithful, keeping us. And we believe that our coming here today, God is going to use the man of God, Pastor Chevy Joshua, Prophet Joshua, to touch their life the more. And that's why we are here today. We've been attending some other programs, some other places. But we believe in our hearts that this man is a called son of God, a called man of God. Amen. Well, uh, as you came here in faith, believing that uh, God Almighty would use TB Joshua to meet you and all the children that you have brought with you at the point uh, of your need, you can see beside you um, a gift of 30 bags of rice um, that Prophet TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team are giving to you and to, to the children to support your, your feeding. And we also have a cash gift here of 100,000 Naira there to take care of the children's needs and the children's welfare. Uh, we are amazed. Really, we are. It's, it's, we've really been having this challenge of accommodation. We've been on a rented apartment. We've been thrown away from the place. Despite the fact that these students are less privileged, don't have parents, abandoned, yet the place we are rented apartments, we still ask to leave because they are inconveniencing the place. And so we are out there. We just have the faith today that if we get here, that God is going to use him. And God has really used him the way we had it in mind. God bless him so much and keep enriching him. Really, we appreciate this. It's from the depth of our hearts. We really appreciate this. We are looking forward to see you in our foundation soon. God bless you. And then we'd like to hear from uh, one of the children that you've, you've brought with you, just to hear what they've got to say about a wonderful blessing that you've just received at the orphanage. Can you just tell us your name and then how old you are, your age? My name is Candy. I'm, I, I'm 19 years old. That, that we, that we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for, for today. And we need that God bless you in Jesus' name. How do you feel now that uh, TB Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team have been able to provide this money, this help for you and for all your brothers and sisters at the orphanage? I'm happy. We thank God for what we've done for today in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Well, we can hear there that uh, this woman said that she's very thankful for the blessing that they have received here at the physically challenged meeting uh, with Prophet T.B. Joshua. We thank you very much for, jo for joining us for today's program. God bless you. When it was time for the various orphanages to go home, the Emmanuel TV team rallied round and did their best to pitch in, helping those with difficulties and those who were not able to walk on their own to get outside and into the waiting buses. Lending a hand to carry the bags of rice, other gifts, provisions and equipment given to the orphanages and of course wishing a fond farewell to their new found friends. Yes, we are here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations and we've come to the end of today's physically challenged meeting organized by Prophet TB Joshua and we're here with another of the groups that have come along today. So we want to know exactly who the group is. Sir, can you tell us your name and the group of children that you came with today? Hi, I'm Mr. St. Lawa and the organization I come with is Bethlehem Charity and Orphanage Center. Here. How many children are in the orphanage there? We have about 56 of them, but we are here with 30. So these are just some of the children, some of your children from your orphanage. And we know it's not your first time of coming here. So what made you come again today to the meeting? We've been here in the previous meeting, and on meeting a man of God, he blessed the home with uh, 30 bags of rice, and uh, the sum of 60,000 naira then, and with that, it helps the running of the orphanage. We don't have to bother about how to feed these children again. Uh, he has met our need in some various areas, and that is the reason why we are here again, because we feel so much relieved. Well, we're very happy that you could come along again today, and we want this relationship to continue. So we have another gift for you. You can see this is 30 bags of rice for you and your children to take back to the orphanage. And also we have a cash gift. This is a cash gift of 100,000 Naira for the orphanage. Emmanuel, thank you very much. We are very grateful uh, and we we use this uh, opportunity to pray for the man of God, Prophet C.B. Joshua, and the congregation at large, that the good Lord will continue to be with him, and the good Lord will strengthen him the more, if want to do it the more. We are very happy. We appreciate him. Thank you. Well, we thank God for all that he's been doing, and we believe that this cash will go a long way to benefit and enrich the lives of the children at your orphanage. So we love you, but Jesus loves you more. Thank you very much. The Bethlehem Orphanage and Charity Center had come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations during the previous meeting, where they had received financial assistance and 30 bags of rice. They said this had given them such a relief in taking care of the children that they had come back today to continue their relationship with TB Joshua and Emmanuel TV. 
This time, they were given 100,000 naira and 30 bags of rice to continue their good work of raising these children in the way of the Lord in greater peace and comfort. We look forward to seeing them and all the friends we made that day again and to making some new ones next time.